Beijing, authoritarian politics collided with China's share bike boom, it seems. The young entrepreneur behind collapsed company Blue Gago has blamed a controversial Tiananmen Square advertising campaign for its woes. In an extraordinary twist, Blue Gago's chief executive, Li Gang, wrote in an open letter that his bike share firm had been cursed since June. He did not mention the June the 4th anniversary of the 1989 Tiananmen Square killing of student protesters but referred to an advertising accident that affected a large investment and possible acquisition. On June the 4th, images began circulating on Twitter and WeChat suggesting Blue Gago had changed the bike icon on its mobile phone app to a tank. The result was a screen displaying a row of tanks parading down Beijing streets towards Tiananmen Square. Fairfax Media sought comment from Blue Gago's marketing executive on June the 4th about the tank advertisement, but received no reply. It is unclear whether Mr. Liss' comment about the advertising incident, made in an open letter published online Thursday evening, is confirming the tank advertisement was genuine, or that the prank caused the damage to the company. Either way, it appears to have scared off Chinese investors in a country where the June the 4th anniversary is so politically sensitive it passes and mentioned each year and many young Chinese are unaware of the 1989 killings of students. Blue Gago, which ranked in the top three share bike companies at the start of the year, is reported to have gone bankrupt after burning through 600 million yuan, $119 million, in venture capital churning out bikes. Mr. Lee wrote in the open letter that he had made mistakes and was full of arrogance. Chinese internet users had earlier accused him of fleeing the country as they were unable to retrieve their 99 yuan, $19.65, deposits. He said Blue Gago had 20 million users at its height and staff would be repaid. The South China Morning Post reported that it had confirmed the authenticity of Mr. Liss open letter with financial sources. Blue Gago was the first share bike company to launch overseas, in San Francisco, and had 700,000 bikes on Chinese streets before its collapse. It is the first major share bike company to collapse. There are at least 16 million share bikes on Chinese streets, and the two biggest companies Ofa and Mobike have expanded internationally, including to Australia, with venture capital war chests of 1.3 billion US dollars and 928 million US dollars respectively from China's largest internet companies.